I think I might want to fly to like. I want to go up north somewhere. So this is Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte International. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fly from Jacksonville, Florida to Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's go ahead and knock that out. And the aircraft that I want. Let's go ahead and stick with the Airbus because this is the only custom one that I have right now. And then daytime. Let's make sure it doesn't turn. You know what? I'm going to actually match. I'm going to match live timing. So it's middle of the night. Well, not middle of the night, but it's getting dark over here. And let's see. I'm okay with that. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. I want to see multiplayer traffic. I want to see uh, live traffic. And all right, we already set that. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, what runway are we going to? I haven't really recognized what runways matter or not, but I'm pretty sure the one that it's wanting to give me is the main one. So we'll just choose that and see what happens. Pretty fast load speed for me, I think. I wonder if the stream will have anything to do with like if I can see the multiplayer players because uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble loading them in even when I'm not streaming. So we'll see how bad that is, but can't be that bad. Looks like we're ready. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn on the light in here. A lot of these switches and stuff. I think it's one of these. It's already turned on. Okay, cool. So we're good to go ahead and full throttle. The park and brake down here. This is it. Release park and brake. We're moving. All right, y'all. I'm gonna turn off the tips. I don't need that in my life. Now I'm gonna move the map right here, or I might move it a little bit right here. All right, we're gaining our speed. It still pops the tips up. Let's figure out how to turn that off. Alright, we're going to pull up a little bit. Alright, just keep climbing. Let's go ahead and put our gear up. I'm going to let it keep flying and then I'll mess with some of the stuff in here. Alright, what we can do is go ahead and punch in uh, the speed settings and stuff that we want. So I want to do 300 knots. Um, okay, let's see. 300 knots and the heading we want, we want it to... So I'm, I'm having to learn how to do this part here because these things don't always work. So we click that, pull, push in. There we go. And then... We need to specify the altitude we want to be at, so let's make this thing, make it up to like 15,000 feet maybe, yeah, let's do that. Alright, we got around 15,000 feet, and we should be good to go ahead and punch in our autopilot, uh, but before we do that, let's extend our range out. Okay, and then set this to nav. There we go. We can see where we are, where we're headed. Okay. So when I do get this, uh, when I do 
punch in that autopilot, we should see us start to turn and get towards our objective. So let's go ahead and hit autopilot, uh, EP1. All right, and then let's go ahead and look at what we're doing. Look at that, starting to turn for me on its own. It's gonna turn and line up with our flight path that we made earlier. Um, if I back off of this right here, you can see that this blue line, not blue, it looks blue to me, but it's like a reddish line right there. That's gonna be the flight path that it uh, lines up on. But it's gonna have to take, it's gonna take some time to get this aircraft turned around and back over that way. Uh, it's gonna turn on GPS tracking again. And let's go back inside the cockpit and watch it do its thing. Now, if at any time, I've learned that if you like mess with the controls and like try to do it auto, uh, not auto, manual, like if you try to mess with the stick, then it'll uh, throw you out of autopilot. Let me zoom out here, get back. Oh, I just changed my speed. So what, what's annoying is if you're using a mouse and you're using the mouse wheel to like zoom in and out, if you hover over one of the instruments and you use that, it'll change it. So these right here, these are like other aircraft in the air. Uh, I don't understand what this number here is. I'm thinking that it might be the distance, but what doesn't make sense is uh, like this is 277 nautical miles and it says 3,900 feet. That's not the same unit of measurement, so I'm not sure what that means. That might be the number of like, uh, that might be an elevation, I'm thinking. The, these might be elevation. Uh, let me make sure this thing's turning where it needs to turn. Yeah, so I put in 15,000 feet, so it's heading to 15,000. Uh, the speed, I think it's going to auto-adjust until I get on my, on my altitude. I can turn on the lights here because I want the. Let me see if I can remember how to get up top. It's one of these numbers. Okay. Um, I remember the light being up here. Landing lights. Strobe lights. Wing lights. Okay, those are off. The wing lights are off. I'll find it. I know I will. Uh, maybe it's down. Maybe the I think it's called a floodlight. Now let's check down. Light right here. So uh oh, got an alarm that might have turned off our so autopilot's still on. I don't know why it's alarming. Maybe it's overspeed, I'm thinking. Let me get back to the seat. Yeah, overspeed, so it's saying that I'm going too fast. Uh, let's turn it's come off the throttle and I think that sound was autopilot coming off so yeah AP1 just shut off on us so we're gonna come back off of the throttles a little bit put it back at the CL did that one move to CL on its own I feel like they moved at the same time let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening. Okay, so we lost our flight ceiling there. We're going up and our speed looks like it's coming, staying steady. So let's just turn the autopilot back on and see what happens. Uh, still climbing. 
but you can see here our rate of uh, our, our climbing speeds dropping is starting to bring us back down it looks like Let's see if it brings us back down to 15,000 feet yeah if you hear any of those alarms yeah there's another alarm what's the other alarm we're having an overspeed again so even though I decrease the throttle it's still saying I'm going too fast so let's okay so we're at 93 throttle let's go down to like maybe I don't know it's like a safe number like 70 maybe around 70 okay and then let's acknowledge that alarm and then okay AP1 is still on so we should be leveling I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I punched in the max speed, 300, and I punched in this thing to be at 17, no, 15,000 feet. So I don't know what's going on there, why I'm, why I'm at this altitude. But it is good though that it's not getting worse than it is. So let's see if we can figure out what happened inside. So I feel like I just touched something by accident. Let's see. Let me see if I can get back to the center. There we go. If I click expedite, let's see what that's doing down here. So our speed is locked in. Like, look at that. That that green right there is where the computer's trying to meet, and then this is the altitude that our could the the computer's trying to meet. So where whatever's happening, it's locked in right now. I'm thinking there's a there's a control that makes what you have specified up here where it's trying to meet it cuz Oh, XD Poison 23. Thank you for the follow. Uh yeah, what's up, man? I'm uh trying to figure this game out. I'm a bad noob. Um I've watched like a startup video on this and then I had some guy talking to me about how to do this, so I'm I'm learning. Uh, so far, I'm taking off from Jacksonville Airport and trying to go all the way up to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte International. Call you poison? All right, man, I got you. But um, you might know. Do, do, do you play this game? How you would take? Uh, how you can make the autopilot like read the readings uh, that you put in up here? Like I put in a uh, an altitude and I told it to match the heading. Uh, that's specified on the flight plan, which is slowly starting to come over. Uh, yeah, this is the Airbus. Uh, it's like 32 Neo or something like that, and it's uh, it's a fly-by-wire. Uh, I downloaded it off of the the uh, add-on site. Can't remember what it's called, but I just dragged that into the folder. And I'm using that, so all these buttons and stuff they're able to be be pressed. trying to learn as much as I can because this is kind of interesting even though I don't know what I'm doing but I don't know I feel like the fact that it's just flying on its own it's satisfying to me to know that but um, it looks like it is getting on track like it's slowly coming back over to the track press the ATHR button so you have auto throttle okay I have to look for that I'm completely lost right now so it's A T H R button. A T H R. Oh, right here. Engage arm auto throttle. What does the auto throttle do? Does that uh does that make it match the speed? Okay, let's see what it's specifying over here. It looks like it's I don't know what it's doing with speed. Do I have to specify the speed over here now? I'm assuming it's something on a flight plan or something that it's reading right now, I have to specify the speed that I want it to be at. Because it looks like it might be dropping. So the AP controls the speed. The yeah, autopilot? Okay. And AP means autopilot. Yeah, I've I've uh, figured that out, but um so I've, I was told AP two it like saves for your landing approach that, that that that's what autopilot 2 is used for and then autopilot 1 is for your flight plan that's what some guy ex earlier was explaining to me um, I know that your approach right here if you're near an airport 
it like helps you get on uh, to the airport. But yeah, I'm a complete noob. I, I mean, I know what kind of some of these terms mean because some of these things are like on a naval like ship. Uh, I'm, I'm in the navy. I don't I don't fly planes or anything, but I know like I recognize some of these terms. And yeah, but I'm I'm a complete noob. I was told that these throttles are supposed to be in climb mode, so don't do big flights. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing a big like I was uh, do local flights. It's better. So yeah, I I picked a uh, a flight from an airport that's like really close to where I am because I, I just wanted to see what what the. Oh, I hope they didn't turn the autopilot off. Okay, no. Yeah, I picked the. Jacksonville Airport because that's like 40 minutes away from me right now and then up in Charlotte North Carolina that's like up near where I used to live so I'm just trying to check it out I, I know how to fly this with a controller because that's what I'm using I'm not using a joystick um, I plan on buying one like probably tomorrow because this game is like gotten my interest like I, I thought this was not going to be fun but it surprisingly is really fun have I done the tutorial uh, no, I haven't done the tutorial. It's fun to just jump into it, in my opinion. But I probably am gonna go do that uh, when I get the uh, when I get the joystick and all that. People were telling me they have like other things where like you can actually push in and stuff, uh, like control surfaces and things. But uh, I don't know if I want to invest in that just now. Um, I'm gonna see what the joystick does for now. But what's really funny is that this controller makes it way, way too easy. Do it so you know what to do. So like does the tutorial do, like it has, it teaches you how to fly like this plane. Like is it set up for this plane right here? the yoke rudder pedals and power levers yeah like I've, I've played like other flight simulators and stuff and usually like other flight simulators they don't have the ability to like have you touch all these buttons disconnect from like your your friggin what's this battery bus trying to get in the overhead like this is this is like an electric plant like drawn out like onto a screen. I, I can recognize that much, but it's pretty cool. In a Cessna 152, that's like one of the prop planes. Yeah. Uh, I gotta remember what these view controls are. I think control one is just the main. Yeah. So I am pretty far off from my flight plan. Do I know how to fly VOR? Uh, <laughs> so you can already tell from me saying that probably that I don't know what that is. Uh, what's VOR? I feel like the flight path is off just a bit because it should have been lined up by now. Although I did take off on the runway a little late, um, or, or I wasted my time getting to the autopilot taking off a little late, so it's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe a couple more. Is it like another... Do you use Sim Brief? So, <laughs> I just I just got this game, installed it, and I downloaded a, uh, a couple add-ons, uh, like this plane, a couple of the, the libraries, I think is what it is, like the little, uh, the, the way the plane looks, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I just know that this thing's called a fly-by-wire, and that's, that's what I installed. So I don't know what the Sim Brief is. I'm a complete noob, like I don't know what I'm doing. 
I don't think I put that in the title, I believe. I think I put in something like, come teach me how to do this. I don't know. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Even though I don't know what I'm doing, it's pretty fun to just say, hey, look, I'm flying from here to there. It's for a flight plan. Oh, so for my for my flight plan, like this thing that I got, I just uh, I just did it on the start. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a Discord. I'm in one right now. Uh, let me pull it up. I wonder if I can invite people from this. But it's... Uh, Eddie Gaming is the name of this one. I'm also in the Microsoft Flight Simulator Discord. If you just join that and jump into a room, I could be in there too. Yeah, it's just the generic one. Like if you just Google Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's like the first thing that pops up. made it pretty far. I think we're almost there, aren't we? Yeah, look at that. We made it so far. What are we in South Carolina right now? Looks like. Mm, we're probably we're probably passing the Georgia South Carolina border. That's probably what we're doing right now. Yeah, North Carolina, I think, is like right. It's probably like right here, comes across or something. I don't know. Can't remember. Can't remember my boundaries. Yeah, we're still not 100% on the flight plan. Please calibrate your throttles in the fly pad tablet. Potentially inaccurate th throttle calibration has been detected. All right, let's see what that's all about. It says calibrate throttles. I remember there's like a tablet over here. Can't see it because my this is so dark. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right. What is calibrate throttles? join flight four on the discord okay i'm gonna switch over to it right now hopefully it doesn't turn off my thing that would be bad i guess i mean it's not that bad because i'm pretty high in the sky but i feel like that would be a bad thing all right here we go uh yes i want to change hello hold on i gotta change this thing to where it picks up voice in my headset because all right, there we go. What's up? It's 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 not the thing that you need the the subscription to use, is it? Oh yeah, it's Navigraph, but for for Simbrief, you don't need it. So you just put, for example, you're going to Miami to I don't know, L uh, L A. So you put K Kilo Mike India Alpha. Atlanta. You 
choose your aircraft and already have all the routes. So, for example, leaving, departing from Miami, you have to go to Mets, then to Bora, and it it's uh, it puts all the airways and it's easier, and you can use it by your Simbrip tablet. And what is this thing called again? Simbrief. Simbrief. Okay. Is it is it like an add-on you get from that site and drag it in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the MCDU, I think you have the option to put, to connect your SIM brief. So every flight plan you use, it's going to be there. Like every generated flight plan, flight plan. Yeah. It's going to be there, and it will have everything. Okay. Is it like an app or something I have to download on my phone? Or is it just like automatically on the, the tablet? Howdy. Hey, what's going on? Not much. What are you guys up to? Uh, learning about this game. I'm very new. I just started uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm using a uh, controller and a, and a keyboard. I'm using both. Well, that, that's fine as long as you're using the controller to like steer the aircraft. A lot of people start with mouse and keyboard and then they give up on the game because it ends up sucking. Yeah, like it, I'm I'm used to like these flight controls from this controller because like like all just base, basically every game you get into a plane is going to use these kind of kind of controls kind of. But um. Definitely gonna get me a joystick now because this is getting addicting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I have I have a question. So, for example, I'm, I'm going to do Miami Atlanta, right? Yep. So you know, like the departure from going there is like you you go in the air and then you head to Mets, right? And yeah. Then to Bar how do I how do I set up my autopilot? My autopilot. And what what aircraft? A30, A32NX, fly-by-wire, um, or I don't know, I don't, I don't use A320, uh, when, when you say, when you say how do you set up your autopilot, what are you trying to do, are you trying to put your flight plan in your... No, like, I already have the, um, Zebra connected, mm -hmm. so the flight plan and the airways are, are already there, I just have trouble how to set it up on the... Set it up yeah, your speed, your altitude, and then your yes. Yeah, so if you just like I did, get to your altitude that you want to be, then you put on your speed, whatever speed you want, and then you turn on auto throttle, autopilot with your altitude set, and then your VS. If your VS is set to zero and you're at your altitude and you have your speed and turn on auto throttle, it'll just get you set and then should stay next to the line and just take oh you there. Yeah. Hey guys, you know what route is very cool? What? Fort Lauderdale to Fort Lauderdale to Bogota. It's a very cool route. Okay. Good. The thing is, like, it's, I don't know, it's very far, bro. So. to Nashville or Atlanta? Which one? Fender, if you're looking for pointers, yeah, feel free to hit me up if you, if you want. I know it's rough being new at this. Yes, sweet. Probably. 
I'm uh, I'm trying to figure out currently how come I have my autopilot on and I have all the things lined up uh, telling it what to do, but it's like a little far like off of the track a little bit to the left. It's not like on like getting on course like on the uh, the line. Wait, are you? Are you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm I'm actually streaming on Twitch, but I can stream on the I guess the the Discord too. Yeah, follow follow him. Twitch.tv slash xxx Brian x Brian T X X X one two three. I've never tried your streaming promo. on Discord and Twitch at the same time. We'll see how that works. Let's see. Oh, your FPS are going to die. Yeah, it's gonna. I mean, <laughs> you say that, but it hasn't it hasn't shown any sign of that for for like a lot of stuff I've had running on this machine. Hey Rhino, what's your route? Where are you going to? Uh, Denver to uh, Toronto. Holy shites. Yeah. Because I can't imagine that you've been blown off course that much. That's that's a lot. I'm gonna try to pronounce this name. X Ragin Rhinox. Thanks for the follow. Call him Rhino. Teach me something. Oh, his name's Rhino. Oh, you're you're the guy in the uh, in the chat. Okay. Can <laughs> oh. I get your PFD real quick? Oh, you said you said PFD. Yeah, your biggest play. It's how you play. Uh. That's control one, isn't it? Yeah, control one. Yeah. GPS, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, everything should be fine. I think you just got a unfortunate glitch. I've had that before. What if I turn off the autopilot, turn off this thing, the auto throttle thing, change the numbers around, and then try to punch it back in, maybe? Uh, instead of that, you could try setting it up on AP2 and then try that. So. I also had a question about AP2. AP2 is set for landing, right? Or is it the same thing as AP1? No, it's just a backup. Okay. Let's see. It's just a backup. Although, bro, you, Go to your you plan just plan on your rows right there. Although, although, uh, Brian, you should try using Simbrin. It would really make your life easier. I'm probably going to have to watch a video on how that works. <laughs> Uh, so this is my, so I was playing it a little bit last night when after it fully downloaded and I kept crashing, but now I just kind of got the hang of keeping the, the plane in the air and then I, I just crashed on the landing, but, um, I'm just Brian, learning it. Although Brian, as I said to you on the chat, try, just do the tutorial, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will really help you. Yeah. Switch above your ADF BOR over there. Your on one, be able to rotate to the plane. A D. Right. So look, look at the dial to the right. It says LS Rose VOR Nav Art and Plan above that. Yeah. Yeah. Rotate it to the right over the plan. Oh, oh damn. He's yeah, very he's, off. He's Whoa. very off. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's weird. I, would, I would say maybe five miles. It keeps. It seems like it's getting bigger too, because I haven't changed the zoom for a second, and it's been like getting wider. Yeah, that is definitely glitch. It should just have you on the line. Yeah. Try, hey, try doing. Try doing your flight again. Like you, like yeah. restarting it. Yeah. Try restarting but, it. Yeah, but go to the main menu. And like. Although try and finish yours, you're really actually really close. Nope. Not <laughs> too late. <laughs> I was I was just flying from uh, I was flying from Jacksonville to Charlotte Airport. Okay, go, like open 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 the link that I sent you and just put the. the... Let me see. Let me find it. Okay, opening the link. Now put the code, for example. I have to log in, so I have to create an account. I just create that account with your Google. Okay, let me see. Let me make sure I don't have this on my stream. That would be bad. Okay, cool. I don't. <laughs> uh, log in. Log in using. I, I did make an account. Um, hopefully, it remembers it. Mr. Bubbles2000 at gmail.com. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm signed in. Um, I'm going to say I never used it before. Dispatch. Da -da 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 -da. Dispatch. Okay, I'm here. Could create new flight. Create new flight. Okay, I got you. Now put your airlines. If you put, for example, whis if you're flying with, just put whiskey, India, Sulu, and then any the flight number you want, and the departure and arrival codes. Oh, the the departure and arrival are like the the airport titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me let me just so flip example, back to for, the game. For example, to for Miami, it's Kilo, Kilo, Mike, India, Alpha. Oh, that kind of scared me for a second. Uh, thanks for the follow. That Navy guy. I'm a Navy guy too. Just I don't know anything about planes. Yeah, you're hey, thanks oh, for thanks your for the follow, man. <laughs> it's got. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a bubble head. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the, the one I was just at, the Jacksonville one, let me see, oh, yeah, right here. Just on the, on the departure, oh, so it's K... K Jax, yeah, K Jax. I, I remember seeing that on a sign too, driving by it on the interstate, let's see, so we'll put that. Okay, and then for arrival, just find the one for the uh, Charlotte. Let's see. It's going to be way up there. We're in South Carolina. It's Charlotte. Okay. It's uh, KCLT. I kind of find a... Do you ever get in here and do, like, group flights? I'm trying to find a place to do that. Yeah. Or, uh, the way around. There, there's, group flights flights in, there's group flights in here, or do you uh, do, you do any that, Sam? I just downloaded it. I'm fairly, uh, fairly new to the game. Okay, so you don't, you don't do that then. Uh, I think I downloaded it. I just haven't uh, got into it yet. So okay. already do it. I recommend, I recommend getting in the bat sim because uh, a lot of communities do big group flights. I, I'm in a big, big one. I'll, is it okay for me to send you a private message? Yeah, it's cool. Right, I'll shoot you a message Brian. about it. Yeah. You already, you already put your departure. No, your departure and arrival. Uh, yeah, the the departure and arrivals in there. Uh, I'm, I filled out like the date and time, and then it says like aircraft type. I just put A320 to 200. Yeah, just put yeah. H20 and go go down to the bottom. Yeah. And it would say your route, your airways, right? Yeah, it's giving me all these like uh, points to use instead of okay. just going straight there. Okay, go they go up and put generate flight. Go up and click generate flight. Okay. All right, it's generating the package. We're building a map. All right, it did it. Uh, in the game? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to the game. Departing. Just okay. Excellent. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Jax. Just, which runway are you departing from? Uh, so I have to select this one. I'll choose runway, I'll just do 26. Okay, put to six. Okay. And put fly. Just put fly. Oh, just click fly? Okay. Yeah. Cool, bro. Your piece is, is, your piece is too fast, bro. It's, it's literally nothing. It's like the cheapest graphics card you can get, probably. Which one? It's a 1050 Ti. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's because of the RAM. How many? Gigs? I'm using uh 16 gigs. Of course, I have 18, 8, 8 gigabytes, and it's like, and it's running like shit. Yeah, you gotta get more RAM. 
Uh, yeah. When you when you set your your game up, did you specify how much you wanted it to have and all that stuff? Okay. Food ready to fly, bro. okay. Now go go to your go to your MCDU or your auto for your flight plan. You talking about this right here? Nope. Like, go to that little computer down there. Oh, this thing right here? Nope. Yeah, for right there. For that little computer. Let me that figure has out how to get down there. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So, I would say put CFTS. CFTS? How do I turn on the lights? I think this is it. Yep. Okay. I think it's so. Oh no. Wait. Go back, go back, go back. Yeah, this is where I was earlier. It's called MCD menu up here. Well, yeah, stay at the menu, same the, the menu. I just want to see what AIDS is oh all about. <laughs> uh, go back to the MCDU menu. MCDU. Okay, yeah, I'm here. Wait, I'm, I'm watching the YouTube video. Hmm. Well, while you're doing that, I kind of want to see what happens if I just shut down the electric plant while we're in the air. Let's do it. What's up? On the, on the MCDU, it should say options. Options, let's see. Let's go back there. Options. So I'm not seeing options. Wait, it's telling me to increase power gradually. That's just like a tip or no, something. No. Okay. Yeah, don't do it. Fuck, um, I don't know. I thought he was Maybe in the air, bro. I was so scared. He was like, it's telling me to increase power. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> Maybe put me in. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not off the ground. What's up? FMGC. FMGC? Okay. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Why doesn't you have options? Uh, Press DIR. DIR directory. Okay, I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah, go to init. In what it. are you guys trying to figure out how to do? Uh, how to load up your SimBrief into your A32. Oh, SimBrief. Okay, I got you. So go to the left hand side in the iPad. Oh, on the iPad? Okay. Yep, on the iPad. Let me get back on that side of the plane. Alright, it's like but over here nice in the dark. I just have to uh, click in the dark. Woo. Yeah, do you see that? <clears throat> I heard, name, I heard a noise. I'm not sure what it was, but something happened, and this thing doesn't tell me what it was. Oh, you hosted the stream. Yeah. So, the iPad. Once you have it turned on, in the bottom left-hand corner. Yeah. There's gonna be a settings button. Right here. Okay. And then you'll go to ATSU slash AOC. Okay. And then SimBrief username. Oh yeah. Sweet. Take my. Is that your username? Ooh. How do you get the yeah. iPad to work? I just clicked on it. You just uh click on it with your mouse. What do you have? Don't put the gmail.com. Yeah, I just thought I'm on I'm on stream too, so I shouldn't have done that. But no, whatever. Uh. Oh, you're on stream. Uh, so that should be it, I guess. All right, and then, oh well, wow, that's my ID, I guess. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you're both ready to go, bro. Should probably delete this, this VOD after you're done. How do you? I guess you just turn it off, and we're good. There's no like save or anything. Uh, does enter work? 
answer. No, it, it, hey, okay, you know it'll just save weird? it then. Okay. Do you know something yeah. weird that happened? I have the premium deluxe version of the um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I, I, I don't have the um, 787. And I went to Content Manager and download, downloaded anything, everything. And it still doesn't appear. You're not missing out. Like I have, I have the, I have the premium deluxe version. I don't know what I'm missing. But... Is this your uh, first stats in flight, dude? Oh, who, me? Yeah. Uh, I would say trying to like figure out how auto autopilot works and like keeping it on track. I guess it would be. But yeah, this this is my first run. I, I like watched like a quick video. And I saw this guy like touch all these knobs up here, and then I just jumped on the game and tried to remember everything that he said, and that's pretty much what I know. But I mean, I it's pretty easy to get it off of the ground just using the the little tips that it tells you on the controller when you start. Yeah, yeah, I can walk you through everything, dude. You want me to? Yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. That that works too, because completely learning everything here. Let's see. Let's get back in the yeah. seat. You got a flight plan loaded? Uh, Did you like make one in SimBrief? So I made one. I made one in that SimBrief site, but it's. I guess I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing into the game now. Okay. So you generated the flight plan? Yeah, yeah I generated it on the site. Okay. Yep. Okay. So go back down to your MCDU down there that's, that you were looking at earlier. That's this little computer right here. MCDU. Yeah. So okay. click uh, in it. In it. Making sure everything's aligned. Okay, then do init request. Oh, it's like up here. This is blocking it. Go away. Yep. Go away. Go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Init request. Yep. Okay. That's like real world. They would pull from a computer system as an airliner. Yeah. <clears throat> and it would load up the flight plan through A cars. Cool. So it's got your flight plan in there now. Um, you can hit clear. Clear out that scratch pad. Uh, bottom right. Yep, hit it again. That's all good. Just clear it all out. Cool, so we got that going. Then you'll go to uh, perf for performance. Alright, uh, under the flaps on the right hand side in the middle, you'll hit one to put it in the scratch pad. So hit number one. And that's just saying you're going to use flap setting 1, which is typical for the 320, and then you'll click that line select key right next to it. Um, on the right hand side, next to flaps. Yep. Oh, it inputs a 1 there, so it's going in yeah. order left to right, then the bottom. Yeah, and if you wanted to insert both fields there, you would do 1 slash and then type whatever you want on the right, but we don't need to enter anything. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and this will be easy for you, so we don't do our own calculations. Those orange boxes on the left side, start at the top, click the line select key once. Right here? Uh, left side. Oh. Uh. Yep, click that once. And that's speed that just posted there. The computer or the sim already did that calculation for you, so that, click it again. And that'll be your V1 speed, and you can do that for the next two. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is look at flight plan. So down on your menu buttons, flight plan next to rad nav. <clears throat> oh, that, that, that must be it right here. Yeah. So right there, so that's a flight plan and you'll use those little arrow keys. It's a little counterintuitive. So the up arrow is gonna scroll you down through your flight, flight plan. Yeah. And the, the down arrow will scroll you back up. Um, but you can just go through that and see, you know, those are all your waypoints. Oh, it is right there, so it's short. Nice. All right. Um, are you on VATSIM? Uh, or are you doing this offline? This is on, I guess. Let me see. What are you, what are you talking about? pretty new to FS2020. Okay. He knows what VATSIM is. Cool, cool. Never mind then. You're all good. <laughs> That's right. is when you start getting into like talking to ATC and stuff. It's like online stuff. Oh no, I've I've uh, I've just got the the computer thing that like talks to you right here. This thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got you. Okay, so if you go back to that computer there. Okay, let me get what, back down. What airport are you at? I can pull it up. I'm at uh, K Jax. Oh, nice. Alright, Jackson Hole, huh? I think I'm on 20-something. It's like the second one after 8. I, I can pull it. Uh, oh, okay, Jax. Okay. Yeah. Jacksonville. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let me pull that up real quick. All right, you're on 26? Yeah, it's the one after the two runway six. 8. Okay, cool. Yeah, so on 26 there. So click... On the left hand side, that line select key right next to KJAX? Yeah. Alright, and then departure. Alright, so you're going to select runway 26. <clears throat> Alright, and where are you headed to? Uh, I'm going to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, or the Charlotte uh, International. So you're headed north. Just a quick interjection. Do you know yeah. what server you're on? Uh, I'm on the, uh, it's an American East, U.S. East. U.S. East, okay. Cool. All right, so um, if you really, like, this is what you'll have to do in the future. Um, online, you can Google it. There's a lot of free sources out there. Um, but I have Navigraph. You can... Like Google KJAX approach or uh, KJAX charts, and it'll show you what one of those you're gonna want to fly for this departure. Um, but I can just pull it up here for you. And essentially, what you're doing is just looking at which one of those on a chart is gonna send you north. All right, so it looks like it'll be Charlotte. Yeah, the, uh, the airport code is KCLT. Okay, let's see what... Is that West or East Carolina? Uh, it's just in the... Looks like it's the center. Well, oh, okay. the very bottom of North Carolina. Okay, so the one you'll select there will be... Cross B2. What does that mean? What is the... What are, like, what do those three things mean? Yeah, so each airport has... Um, people leaving it's called a SID a standard instrument departure yeah and it's essentially like a like a quick highway out of the airport that'll send you north south east or west um and it's just selecting which one of those that you're going to be flying so you're saying that by flying that one you're going to be heading north out of the airport airport <clears throat> and then picking up your flight plan that you already put in your computer okay and then in reverse we're going to set it up before you get there just to make it easier um, airports also have arrivals. They're called STARS, Standard Terminal Arrival. Um, and it's the same thing, just a quick route coming into the airport. But you'll select Cross B2. He's, he did say he set it up in SIM brief. It should have already given SIM and STAR, right? So, unless he selected those, I don't believe it gives you the SID. It may. Check. Okay. Um, it doesn't enter it into the MCDU though, I don't believe. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. But cross B2 is going to be the one that you want. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can select the line select key right next to cross B2 to select that one. Yeah, yeah I've, I've selected cross B2. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Your stream must have froze here. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. So then you'll click insert. Right here? Yep. Okay. All right, cool. So that put those extra waypoints in there so it'll fly you out. If you scroll down on that sheet there, uh, so like on that page, hit the up button. Oh, up. Uh, yep. Yep. So that actually brings you down. It's weird. All right, so you'll click the line select key next to KCLT. And do you have your sim brief still pulled up? Yeah, it's on another page. Let me see. I just tabbed out. Okay. Uh, what's going to be the last thing it says in there? Like on the on the document? On the routing. 
Routing, 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 routing. Da -da 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 routing. Where is routing? Is that at the bottom? Um, so are you at the, uh... I have it opened up to the My Briefing, and then it talks about, uh, OFP Summary. And then I see, like, a map, and then under it's Paperwork view Preview. Do you see the route anywhere on there? Where it's saying Direct to, certain waypoint, Direct to, like, DCT. DCT. Do you see any of your waypoints on there anywhere? Uh, are you watching on the Twitch or are you watching on the 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 uh, Discord? I'm watching on Discord. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah, you shut up Discord. I'm trying to figure out how to just. Oh, here we go. Share screen screens. Okay. See, so yeah, this is what oh, I'm looking right at right here. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, so it's telling you to fly the banker too. Do you see routing right there? Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Okay. Well, I, I was looking for like a title, <laughs> a title for like a. Oh, uh, I see. But that banker two is going to be the star that you're going to want to fly, and that's the approach going into Charlotte. Okay. <clears throat> yes. So let me so go, you back. go back. There, you'll click arrival this time. Arrival. And then you'll. So what uh, runway does it have you landing on? Let's see here. I'm gonna go back and change this. Let's see. So this is one way you can figure this out pretty easy. <clears throat> Using that fancy dancy iPad. If you go back to that guy. Yeah. Let's see, control one, look over. So this time, if you click um, the tail at the top on the left-hand side, well, if you click from SimBrief, it'll load all that info in there for you. If your uh, usernames. Oh, sweet. All right, so it's showing you weather at departing and arriving airfield. So zero to zero at seven knots is going to be the wind in Charlotte. That's going to be the direction that you want to land, something closest to zero to zero that's going to work for your plane. So, pulling up a chart again. Here, zero two zero. Okay, so you can pick, uh, let's do three six Charlie as your runway. So if you go back to your MCDU, Okay, control two, three, four, five, control five. Yep, so if you use that arrow, the up arrow to scroll down, there's going to be more approaches in there that you can fly. Uh, so go back, hit the down arrow up two times. Uh, let's do three, six, right. Three, That'll six, right. Way. Yep. So is that is that like a, a runway or something you're landing on? to so that's, land there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's the the runway that you're going to land on and then the specific approach that you're going to fly to it. There's a different couple ways that you can navigate, but ILS will be the easiest one for you okay. here. Um, and then you'll select the banker too. So that instead of a SID, this is a star, and it's that highway into the airport like I talked about. All right, and then, so if you look at that routing again, our Heckam or Lancer in your routing at all? Yeah, Arnie 2, Baxley, DCT, Pawns, Banker 2. Okay, let's look up Heckam or Lancer. I can pull that up on mine. And that's just a waypoint that's going to feed into this approach. And you want to be coming from a certain direction to do that. Two. The approach will be what did we say? Three six right. Yep. Yep. So you'll select Peckham. Oh, it is already selected. So you'll just hit insert. 
whatever screen is selected. Yeah, and you can look at the top there where it has approach, via, and then the star. It was already up there. So that's just kind of telling you that it's already going to be using that waypoint. Alright, awesome. So if you go back to your flight plan, the mm, menu button. Right there. Yep. This is a good time to go through and make sure that it's all going to feed into each other. So <clears throat> you're taking off from Jacksonville 26, going all those waypoints, so start scrolling down. And you want to just make sure there's no blanks in between waypoints. Yep. So End of okay. flight plan, yeah. Yep, perfect. So it'll all work out. That's all you need for flight plan. And basically, you're set up to go fly as long as you um, like set up the autopilot buttons the right way. <clears throat> but you don't want to touch that while you're on the ground. You want to take off normally and then get up there, set your altitude and all that. Before you do these steps? Yeah. So this is always done on the ground with your engines not running. It's like always, they typically do this at the, at the uh, like terminal. Oh, it looks like it's already been set, or at least these have already been touched or something. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this is the fun part too. Um, so, do you see where it has 10, 20, 40, 80, 160 there on the left hand side uh, of your screen? Yeah, right here, yeah. you turn this all the way up. Perfect, flip that to 80. Okay, so what uh, altitude are you going to fly up to? 15,000. Okay, 15K. So that altitude, scroll that up to 15,000. Perfect. All right, and then um, so your speed and heading. When it has those dashes with that circle, yeah. that means that your autopilot is going to be ran by the computer that we just set up. It's going to try to follow that flight plan route, and it's going to determine its own speed. Um, that's the same thing with the altitude. When you turn the autopilot on, it's going to be flying to that altitude. Okay. Um, so if you like, go ahead and go to the speed, there's going to be up and a down arrow associated with that, like pulling in or pushing or pulling out or pushing in the button. So just give that a shot. Okay. It's typically... Oh. I have so to use it with a controller because some, for some reason it doesn't do it with the mouse. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so when it's just a number like that, you can scroll it, and that is where you can set your own speed for it to fly. But if you push it in where it has the dashes again... The computer the, will do it. The computer will do it, exactly. <clears throat> All right, and then just kind of explain the autopilot system. I'm trying to keep it simple. I know but, if you click AP1, it's going gonna, it's gonna to use these numbers and stuff up here and do that. Yeah, so you'll use that to turn the autopilot on, and that'll control your heading as well as altitude. Yep. but it won't control your speed. So you have so to turn that, that on. The auto throttle. Yep, exactly. Cool. Sweet. Um, I think that's we're pretty much there. Um, but you you can't have autopilot take off for you. You're going to have to do that, right? Yep, you have to do it manually and you can turn it on at a couple hundred feet with these planes. Okay. So yep. I guess I'm yep. set to do that then. Let me see. Yeah, you are set for takeoff. All right, let's do it. All right. I want to control one. Yeah, I've I've been having issues where like I'll see like a player, and then yeah. You might run into me. <laughs> All right. You can turn on that autopilot and auto throttle once you get the gear up. Okay. Cool. Auto throttle is on. So hit autopilot one. All right, cool. Now quick look at your throttle. Or actually look at that, uh, not the throttle, the screen above the throttle. screen so up oh right here up yep that top screen there where it has the engine instruments so pull your throttle back you see where it says toga in the top right corner T -O -G -A, toga t-o-g-a toga t-o-g-a oh you're saying on on the throttle 
Yeah, right yeah, there. So put it, yeah. Put it back to CL. Put it back to CL. Okay. Yeah. That's climb. Sweet. So, CL is the only setting where auto throttle is going to work for you. If it's anywhere else on that gate, auto throttle isn't going to work and it's not going to manage anything for you. So, it needs to be there for it to do anything. Okay. Cool. That is pop so flaps, cool. Pop your flaps up one. Maybe. All right. It's basically what an airline pilot does. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sit back and relax. You're just talking on the radios from now on. Nice. Yeah, so it's staying at 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Um, that's an FAA rule. It'll increase its speed after that. And you can see there on your little moving map that it's going to be following all of your equipment. It's lining that up, yeah. Yeah. It's so pretty if you cool. go back, back to where you had your range set up, where I told you to go to 80. Yeah, let me uh, let's figure out how to get back there. Let's go yeah. to 80. Okay, right here. Go ahead. Yep, do 160. Oh, it changed down here. You can see more of your, your points. Okay, cool, yeah. So this will be a good example of how to change waypoints. So that departure ends that whisper there that we selected yeah sim brief told you you're gonna go to that one right next to it Baxley. um we don't want to do that because do, it's gonna turn us around we so just want to go straight to Baxley. um that's one option but say you were like flying in real life or online here yeah and the controller would tell you to fly a certain departure and that would end at whisper so your flight plan probably wouldn't wouldn't include Baxley, but Simbrief didn't know that. So if you go down to that computer again in the flight plan page, <clears throat> and this would be a good example of how to manipulate the system. So you can hit that up arrow to go find Baxley on there. There it is. So hit clear in the bottom right. And then so hit Baxley. Clear, and then Baxley, yep. And that'll delete that waypoint. And if at this point you don't don't click erase. So at this point, if you didn't mean to do that, you could click erase. But since we meant to do that, you'll click insert. <clears throat> Perfect. So if you look back at that map, it just took it, that it, off. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, is your autopilot on? Uh oh, did it turn it off? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, oh, no, it is. It's just going back to course, I think. Yeah, it'll turn left here. Shit. That's turning right. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wait, is my is my controller? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was pressing the getting the rudder to go right, but it's not. So let's see what's going on. Let's go back inside. Yeah, let's go back to that guy. So if you hit DIR in the top left hand corner. Oh, down here. Yep. Okay. And then go G I G L Z. G I G L Z, okay. Boom, and then direct in the bottom right. Direct. Hit that guy. Cool, it'll fly you direct there. So if you look up again, it should be turning left. Oh, let me control, I think it's up. Yep, yes, yeah, turning left now. Perfect. <clears throat> I think it was a little confused though, there with those waypoints real close to each other. But yeah, so you'll be going direct to G-I-G-L-Z. Giggles. Oh, there's your autopilot turning off. It turned off, yeah. I just yeah. heard it. Can yeah, we get back up? You click it again. Okay. Yep. That'll happen if you like move any of the flight controls. Yeah. It'll uh, I think I was operating the rudder there with the flaps on the controller. It's easy uh, to just bump it, it turns it off. Yeah. That is pretty cool though. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. It's doing its fucking thing. Yeah, it's such a short flight. It's... Yeah. 
a little difficult, but it'll work. We'll see if that waypoint was too close yet, if it's going to be able to make it around to that waypoint fast enough. We might have to do that again one more time, and instead just go to Whisper. Question, what's your uh, endgame name, you know? Wait, who's that? Uh, talking about you. Okay. Do you know what your endgame uh, name is? Uh, it should be Triple X, Bryant, Triple X. One, two, three. Well, damn. And you spawned at K-Jax, huh? Yeah. Will. I wonder if we were in a group, would it always show each other? No. It's a Microsoft product. It never works as intended. <laughs> So I feel like the issue there, like the where the where they messed up was making this where Xbox users could join. No, no, no. This has been a problem since it was just PC. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Since the first. <laughs> yeah. You would think they have a game like this, they would make it, like, well, not a game, but like a simulator like this, it would be on point. But it, they're not there yet. Yeah, it was never really made to be a multiplayer thing. Yeah. It's the main thing. Yeah. So I, before I started getting heavy into this, I played a lot of Sea of Thieves, which is also a micro, Microsoft product. And I can tell you firsthand, it never gets better. <laughs> they just keep adding features that nobody asked for with a list of bugs three miles long on every update. Yeah, it'll it'll hit the state of um, like FS9 or FSX where they stop supporting it. Yeah. And then it's just a stable platform where the bugs are the bugs, and you just and, have to um, deal with it. Yeah, and manufacturers kind of carry it from there on out. Yeah. Add on manufacturers, which is honestly where I'm. I hope it's getting here in the future because it's a pretty solid platform on its own. It's just that. When they release updates, new things will break. It's like, just stop touching things, guys. Yeah, so I would just cancel that flight following, shut him up. <laughs> Should be going to whisper next. Alright, let's work on because it'll be kinda quick once we get there. Let's kinda work on setting up the approach for our landing. So do you see there where it says two nine nine two under Q and H? Q and H? What is that? So up where I had you change those ranges. Oh, right here. Here right here. Yes. Yep. So below that, there's FD, which stands for Flight Director, and that's the little green crosses on your screen. Oh, I know that the, uh, so I, I've seen somebody do this. That will turn on these little pink things down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so go ahead and click that. Okay. Cool. So that shows you on the right-hand side there how high or how low you are in comparison to a glide slope that's bringing in for landing, which is basically a perfect descent profile. Yeah. And then, yeah, on the bottom is going to be if you're left or right of the runway. But that's, it's not picking up anything right now for RF energy, so... Yeah, we don't have anything set or to giving it to the computer yet, right? Yep, so if you go down to the MCDU again... MCDU... Um, the computer that we were putting the waypoints into... Yeah, right here. Yeah, so if you click RAD NAV, that'll be where your ILS information is like populated so we already selected the runway that we're going to land on yeah so that ls slash frequency is already filled in 108.9 is the basically the radio frequency that it's transmitting at the end of the runway okay to get your airplane in so it's already put in there um that's all good uh, above that is crs which stands for course and that's going to be the inbound heading that you fly into the runway at 
and I'll go ahead and pull it up here. Uh, we did 3-6 right, ILS. Final approach course is 0-0-3, and you can put that in there. Cool. And go ahead and throw it in the right-hand side, too. Can't remember if you need that for an auto land or not. All right. <clears throat> So that's all set up. You can go ahead and go back to the flight plan. I like keeping it on that page. This is a good monitoring tool. And then, yeah. So we're kind of set up for a runway or our landing here. Uh, from my understanding, when you're ready for that, you're going to pop up over to here and you're just going to click approach. So that'll be once you're on when you're on runway heading, you're all configured, um, like you got your gear and flaps down, you're slow, you're close to the airport, then you'll click that. Okay. Yep. Um, that's if you want to do an auto land. If you don't want to have the plane land itself, um, you don't have to pay any attention to that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I just, yeah, just, just found yeah, these. Sure. You can turn these up. <laughs> See, it's so weird using the the mouse for this. Let's see. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Turn it back in. Yeah. Let's see, how do I turn this? It's not letting me do it. No, oh, let's use our mouse again. Let's see. It's not feeling it. If I just keep clicking, it'll do it. Let's just click it a hundred times. Okay. <laughs> Cheating the system, guys. This is how you do it. Yeah, I was looking at uh, videos how like people go like. I wouldn't say they go overboard because it, 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 this is a hobby and I, I can see why like this thing's mm -hmm. pretty cool but like they buy like full setups like so where it's almost like they're in a plane mm -hmm. but it's like it's like let's just go get a plane <laughs> it's like, yeah it's, it's 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 crazy though how like the, how some of this stuff is so realistic Oh yeah. man, I can't. Yeah, I, 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 I I can't imagine that. Like like imagine being good enough to fly, oh, yeah. but they just tell you no. That's that's got to be trash. Yep, yeah. yeah, it's pretty stringent. Plus, you can build a setup over you know a few years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, what in a 172 now probably, uh, including fuel, the rental is probably 150 to 200 dollars per hour. So, so. 126 dollars for rent uh, for a 172 where I live, and then okay. the fuel is on top of that. Yeah. And then also you have, I don't know how the insurance works on that. If you have to like purchase a, an insurance every time you fly. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. So if I want to lower my altitude, I can just lower it and it'll it'll drop down to that? Uh, so right now, since you reached that cruising altitude, so go ahead and select, uh, let's see here. Let's go 6,000. So that'll be your altitude at Heckham. So if you realize, he's at 15 right now. Oh, he's burning, oh yeah, he's burning a bunch of gas. All right, but so realize that you're not descending, right? Yeah. So um, don't do it now, but um, when you get to the point, you'll pull that button out, and it'll initiate the descent. Okay. And you and you push it into cancel. Uh no. No. Okay. Yeah. It's the computer. It's basically we're at our cruising altitude, like you told me to do, <laughs> and 
this is where we're going to be at until you start descending. You could cancel it, but it's it's more complicated than just, you know, pulling it back out. You got to reset the 15 and then pull it again. Uh, okay, so zoom into your little map there. Uh, la, 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 right here? Uh, where the waypoints are. Yeah, on the left-hand side, that little map. Cool. Um, so Ponzi... Okay, so it'll be a little while. Okay, we're all good. I was just making sure we don't have to descend pretty soon. Out of curiosity, could you have him switch over to, uh, mock speed indicator? So I can see what his mock number is. Right here. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, so watching you go. It's I'm point watching your Twitch stream. It's a uh, five seven four. He's point five seven four. Yeah. Well, I'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt. Let's see. Isn't there somewhere you you can look to like share your location with somebody? Like like your I guess it would be your coordinates. Is that a thing? Um, coordinates. So look at your MCDU again. Yeah, down here? Okay. I'm just going to be spitballing. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Data. Um, I'm assuming. <laughs> possibly go GPS monitor. GPS. So up on the screen, the data index. Actually, try position monitor first. Oh, I see it now. Position monitor. Okay. Let's see if that. Yep, so that's your location right there. It's neat. Yeah. I'm glad somebody knows how to understand what that means. Math. Um. Man, pilots are terrifying now. I can't believe they know how to do all of this. <laughs> I'm trying to get into a groove that's not actually that bad. Everything in that cockpit is segmented out for a reason. There's the, like a, that overhead panel has segments, and each segment does something different. Like you're looking at electrical, and now you're looking at uh, hydraulics and fuel, and the top is fire. Yeah, they they have they have the same kind of thing on like a submarine. Yeah. yeah oh, it's, nice. It's, it's all segmented out so that it's easier to. Oh, I need to look for this button. No, I already know. Yeah. This are you Navy dude? Yeah. Okay, nice. I'm Air Force. Hell yeah. Y'all yeah. are... I'm actually a, a navigator. <laughs> a navigator? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have those, but I guess they're just in charge of where we're going. I'm like a... I would say I'm a mechanic, but I'm like a non-nuclear mechanic, so I'm the lesser of, of a mechanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it took him on a completely different departure than it did me. Oh, same brief? Yeah. Interesting. Well, we we uh changed a waypoint if that matters. I don't know if that's a thing. If that matters or not. Uh, we flew... Yeah, we picked our own SID, and then we deleted one waypoint because the transition didn't make sense with it. Gotcha. I'm uh, 124 nautical miles from Ponzi. How far is he from Ponzi? Because that's his next waypoint. He is rough, like 105 right now. Oh, so I'm not that far behind. How, how are you able to read uh, how far you are from that? So, on that little screen right there, right here? you got the map, yeah, so those are range rings going out from your plane. Yeah, he's, actually he's 110 from Podsy, up, up in the top right corner of that display. So oh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm only 15 nautical miles behind you, and about, uh, 25 to 35,000 feet above you. What is your, what is your name? I'm seeing all kinds of planes. Oh, you're, you're AOD, that Navy guy. Yeah, see you. Yep. Yeah. Coming up on me. 
So I think it does have to do with me streaming on Discord and Twitch because I'm, I'm streaming in two locations. That's probably what it is with my internet. Let me see. Let me see if I have that still up. But your Discord is pretty far behind. Or not your Discord, your, uh, your Twitch. Twitch is, yeah. Well, it's got to it's gotta send it there and then probably send it out to everybody watching. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm going Mach point one, uh, Mach point eight one. I'm going to turn this back off of Mach and put it on knots. Something I still kind of don't understand. But. It's just a different way of looking at speed. Um, yeah, so knots is nautical miles per hour, and miles is miles per hour, right? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just different uh, form of measurement. But, like, it's weird, because, like, whoever made it, they didn't think, hey, we, we ought to make a nautical mile, like, not equal up to a mile. It's, it's weird. I, I don't know why that is. Yeah. I never really looked into the history of that. For what do you mean? The difference between, like, having, so like, not measuring it off of, like, ground speed? He's talking about using miles instead of, uh, instead of nautical miles. Like, why, why didn't they just use miles? Oh, because back in the day, aviation was closely tied with the naval community. You know, that's why they call them, like back in the day, they called aircraft ships. Well, you know? I, th I think yeah. he means like when nautical mile as a term was originated. But I mean, nautical oh, mile, I guess. I guess nautical you. mile uh, predates miles, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I would assume so. I finally see you over there in that ether <laughs> Are you gonna. Um, stream on Discord or just Twitch? Uh, I switched over to this Twitch streaming on Twitch. Oh, okay. Let me see. Uh, I probably have like one viewer right now. That's what I usually max out at. Let's see. Yeah. I'll follow you on Twitch. I got it. Me and all one, uh, one viewer. <laughs> yeah, I've been streaming like Call of Duty, uh, Cold War, and some other games like that. But then I, uh, somebody just recently uh, got me into this game. They were like, yeah, you should uh, get the standard edition. It's only like 60 bucks, and I bought it. What is it called? Super Liminal. Super Liminal. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> it does look like it's one of those games. It, it almost looks like it's like a prop hunt and somebody just turned it into something else. Kind of, yeah. It's very, very Portal-esque. I, I would go as far as to say it was probably inspired by Portal. Yeah. Oh, you disappeared on my screen. Uh-oh. It's fine, it happens. It randomly does that, drops in and out. Are there some aircraft that have like thermal and night vision? Actually, there are some, like more commonly business jets, they'll have synthetic vision. So you can be flying through weather or at night and it'll actually look ahead of the aircraft and be able to see um, like the terrain and show it instead of um, the altimeter just being like ground and sky or the attitude indicator, it'll actually show a 3D picture. It's pretty sweet. There was a, um, here in, uh, in Texas, I'm not going to say 
what part of Texas, but here in Texas, uh, where I live, there was a recently a Cessna, no, not a Cessna launch, but it was a uh, Learjet for sale, and it was for sale by the FBI. It had been a surveillance aircraft, and they left the surveillance camera set up on the bottom of the aircraft. <laughs> so whoever buys it gets it. Boy, yeah, yeah. If I, had, if I had a couple million dollars. I mean, yeah, that plane is not going to be anything fancy. You know, it'll be a real nice camera if you even got that by the be time really you got nice the plane. Camera, but, but the inside will be stripped out and it'll be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nothing secret, you know. Just some fancy commercial camera. I mean, it's better they sell it to us than just give it to the Taliban. So. <laughs> Turn t on terrain display. I'm assuming that like shows like, uh, I forgot what kind of maps those are, but like the little spirals that show like mountains and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you're down like in a place that has mountains and you're equal altitude or close to alt the same altitude as mountains, you can click that button and it'll show on your map. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Out here in the flat. Florida and yeah. Carolina. <laughs> yeah. I was starting to think that like this game didn't have like tall buildings in it because they don't want like terrorists to know where you know other tall towers are. But I don't know. Uh, nah. <laughs> but no, I, I I saw like actual models. I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they take, you know how Google Maps does that with 3D imagery? Yeah. They'll stitch it together. It's the same thing here. I just thought it was cool. Like, I, I flew over, like, the base where I'm stationed out here, and I was able to see, like, the fucking barracks and all that shit. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, first thing I, well, not the first thing I did, but one of the first things, like, within the first day I had this game, I flew over to uh, Great Lakes and flew over the, uh, <laughs> the base there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm down at uh, Davis Mountain, so it's one of the super real photogrammetry ones. So, like, the entire boneyard is modeled. Pretty neat. Looks like these next waypoints I'm coming up on, they're going to go pretty fast. Yep. Yeah. yep. Oh, he's already at his star, huh? Yeah, coming up on it. Um, I'm just going to try to get him down to 6,000 feet by heck him. So if you see that on there. Yeah, it's like it's like the last leg. Yeah, it's up to the top right there, Heckam. Yeah. Way up there. I don't have Heckam. I guess they gave me a different star too. It's okay. What what runway are you landing? Uh, uh two, three six right. Three six right. Let me go see what my arrival is. Uh it's three six center. Do you happen to remember the uh, star he had? Anchor 2? How do you remember this? <laughs> yeah, it's my job. <laughs> he had the Ponzi transition, right? Um, no, it's the Heckam. Heckam transition? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't have Heckam. I only have Ponzi. Oh, Ponzi, yeah. Ponzi yeah. for the star, and then for the approach, it was Heckam. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yep, yep. Wait, so you're, you're you're like a so like well, what do you actually do in the air force? Like, do you fly planes, or are you like a like one of the air traffic people that like deal with that stuff? I don't know. I have no idea what the air force does at all. It's like yeah. a mystery. Yeah. So in the air force, we have one like AFSC one job title. It's called CISO, and it's combat systems officer. So we spend uh, like year and a half in Pensacola at yeah. the naval base down there, and uh, fly down there as a navigator learn all of this shit oh you you said navigator so you you yeah. are you are an officer then yeah yeah okay okay <clears throat> you learn all that shit and then you track where you're gonna go on what airframe and i got uh i do electronic warfare out here mm -hmm. um so i don't nav anymore but i know all this shit because this was all my training until after i graduated and then they're like oh yeah electronic warfare <laughs> 
It's a little different, but it's fun. Yeah, I'm so glad I don't have to do anything to do with navigation on our submarine, like, at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just watching it just, just pass by. I don't even have to do anything. This is pretty cool. Yep. Drops the controller, throws it out of... That's why I like you know, pilots. It's, it's a lot of knowledge base, but not a whole lot of. Uh, I don't know. If you didn't want it to be, you, not a lot of skill. You could have the plane land itself. But I don't. Yeah. As soon as they make, uh, as soon as they like fully implement VNAV in the A320, yeah, you can basically just let it fly itself. Yeah. After takeoff, you click a couple buttons, and then from then on out. Until you turn off the runway, you don't have to touch a stick or throttle or anything. Yeah. God, that'll be fun. Can't wait. I just want something super complex like the 737 or the, the A300 now. I like how Ponzi calls for above flight level 270. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm reading here, am I wrong in saying that a triangle is delta? Delta P, I'm assuming that means pressure, uh, yep, change, change in pressure. pressure. So, okay. What What is monitoring the pressure in the in the aircraft right now? Like, like where are you able to change that or see where that's being controlled? Uh, it's all automatic in the Airbus. Okay. But there are sensors in the cabin that will that'll tell you and outside what pressure and what the differential is okay yeah. wouldn't it be the bleed air uh, can sometimes control it or is that I saw that uh, somewhere yeah so the the bleed air in every plane controls pressure but not as not what the uh, it's not the sensor it's just the the source for the pressurization Overspeed is that like where your RPM is getting like red, uh, but in in the plane or something? I don't know. Well, it's not RPMs; it's your speed. It's it's what it's what the plane can handle at like the the fastest speed the plane can handle at the altitude you're at. Okay. Or the configuration of flaps are in. Or, I mean, whatever. There's a lot of things that go into it. Okay. Isn't it like a light or something where you can like see the whole cockpit? Yeah, so if you go up to the top, like that overhead panel? Yeah. Could be. Let's see, look at those buttons. Man, his stream is really mm. <laughs> Actually, you don't want a storm light. You want a, uh, just like a background panel. Okay, so if you go back... I forgot where this control is. So I'm gonna look in mine. Uh, there, there are two controls. So above the uh, the middle screens, right oh, okay. the autopilot. There's like two little knobs like underneath the edge of the dash. Uh, and I don't remember what those do, but they make. So those are for the glare shield itself. So where you want to go is to the left hand side of the throttle. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. No, let me get back above it. Let's see, da, 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 right here. Okay. So not those, but look down at the throttle again. I'm oh, sorry, I'm looking at your Twitch, so it might be a little laggy. Let me. So it's back to the like back left hand side of your throttles. Oh, uh, floodlight. Yeah, floodlight.
that's all you got. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I know there's a light over here where it like it's below you or something. Let's see. Right there. Uh... Alright, looks like we're coming on it now, or we're about to come up on that last. Yeah, so if you click your range down one. Range over up here? For the, yep, for the map. Da 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 da, yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. That range wheel. It's like 80. 80 miles, is that is that what that is? 80 nautical miles, these are rings showing distance. Yeah, yeah so you can start thinking about your descent. So you're gonna go down to 6,000 feet, which is gonna be a, a 9,000 foot altitude change from where we're at now. Yeah, and it's gonna take time to get there. Yeah, so you can think about it this way. So let's descend at 1,500 feet per minute. So if you go on 9,000, uh, 1,500 feet, so that'll be how many minutes? Uh, 4.5? Is that what it comes out to? I'm trying to do it. I haven't done this math in a while. I always use an online calculator. There's six. a calculator on the, on the iPad. I got it. It'll be, it'll be six minutes for our descent. So if you know it's gonna take six minutes to go from fifteen thousand to six thousand, you want to figure out at what point you want to start to descend. So when are we gonna be six minutes away from that heckum? So you can look at your speed and say we're doing. At that point, we'll have to slow down a little bit. So six. Say four nautical miles a minute. So you take four times six. Yeah, that'll work. So 24 miles from Heckham, we'll start our descent. We can round it up to 25. Said so 25 miles from Heckham? Yep. 25 That's nautical we'll miles. Start. Yep, we'll start a descent at 1500 feet. It's not even a high altitude approach, and it's, like I said, Ponzi says no lower than flight level 270. <laughs> not even at, just at Ponzi, there's, uh... Well, yeah, that's just the start. Yeah, CR debt, or sorry, credit is 17, <laughs> three waypoints in. Yeah. Have you seen a high altitude approach? Who, me? No. <laughs> no. This other guy. What's your username? Uh, Posh Texan. Oh, Posh Texan. Yeah. Have you seen one of those? Uh, what do you mean? So there's regular stars or approaches, and then there's high altitude approaches that are a whole separate category that are like insane. Where they like. I don't know if I've ever flown one, but I. I mean. Are you talking like high altitude as in 45,000 or as in like what a SR-71 would consider high altitude? No, as in like the approach starts at a super high altitude. Oh, no. I so like you'll be like above 15,000 and starting your approach. Like not the start, the actual approach. Oh. Um, yeah. The appro <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll like. No, I, I don't know that I have. Yeah, you'll tune up a tack in, and you'll be flying that from high altitude. That'd have to be, like, in the mountains somewhere, right? Uh, no. Not necessarily. I don't yeah, know the specific I, use case, but... I think I couldn't have made a better purchase than a Navigraph subscription for, for simulation. I just want to point that out to anyone who's willing to listen. Yeah, I spent so many years googling 
KLAX charts. Pulling up dated ones, or outdated ones for free, you know? Yeah. Spent a lot of years doing that, but then the overlay and everything is so nice. Like, so many of my add-ons linked to it, I can, I can watch my aircraft fly the line on the chart and just zoom in, drag the chart along as I go. It's nice. Yep. I have all the info I need. That and I bought the uh, GTN 750 uh, premium. I don't know if you've heard of that one. Uh, no. Well, actually, I had it for prepared back in the day. Okay. Well, there's yeah. a 750 for this now, and they have a premium version. Oh, really? And you can you can link Navigraph. You can link live weather. You can leave, link live terrain, and it will it will either replace some of the panels in most of the aircraft in the game, or uh, if you want it to, it'll just be a regular pop-out panel in that top middle menu. Mm -hmm. and you can just set it off to the side so you can use the panels in the main aircraft and then use that off to the side to show you all your charts. You can change your flight plan. You can load a flight plan mid-game. Is um, that the uh, flight one? What do you mean? Are you talking about the Garmin system? It, I mean, it's a Garmin GTN 750, but it's, uh, it's made yeah. by PMS 50. Okay. Flight 1 was the popular one for E3 and FSX. Yeah, this one's PMS 50. Okay. I'll get you a link if you want. How many this miles behind me are you? Version too. How many miles behind am I? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're still in front of me, but last time I checked it was about 4. 4 miles. Yeah. Look, look in your cockpit real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. On the two, on the two left screens. It says I'm 13.7 miles away from. Is that C R D E T? Okay, so 13.7, and I'm. Wait, so well, now it says oh. I'm 12.4, 12.3. Click your, uh, click your range ring into. That says I'm like 11 nautical miles away. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not on that leg yet, so I'm a little ways behind you. Okay. Not too bad, though. You know what I really want to see? If I deploy the oxygen masks, <laughs> I want to see what's going on back there. Okay, now I'm 19.2 miles from CRED. I mean, I don't think any, anything happens. Oh, you're able to pull the landing gear down from inside. You don't have to just use it on your controller. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. What's this one right here? Let's see what that is. The um, DC-6 mod I have has a manual landing gear release, like a gravity release. And I haven't used it yet. I kind of want to. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like hovering over one of these switches and I just like used my mouse wheel over it and it just shifted it. <laughs> so this is the good, this is the fly by wire version, right? Yeah. Okay, so look below your throttle quadrant. You'll see like the, the cabin door lock and then to the right there's like a video or camera button. Yeah, let me see here. If you click that and then look back up at the screen just above your throttle, you can see the camera for the outside of the cockpit door. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, video. Yeah. I wonder if you're able to like actually get in that area. Let's go to insert, and then spy yeah, inside the plane. Yeah. yeah. See, there's a way to rotate too, I like that. There we go. Oh, this must be like the hold or something underneath. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they might have modeled it. Yep, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, this is where the landing gear is. That's pretty cool. Look at the details. Like, I, I don't even have this maxed out at all. Like, it's probably at high settings. But that's that's pretty cool. That they've, they, they've thought enough to make it look like this. Oh, yeah, you should see some of the add-ons.
and stuff. Like, they have the full interiors model and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, all the seats and... Yeah. By the way, we're supposed to be going a max of 270 miles. Oh, wait. Ah, <laughs> I gotta cancel free cam. Alright. Hey, we're just VFR at this point, you know? That's fair. <laughs> I'm trying my best to follow my uh, my charts and stuff because I've I just got into that sim not but like two months ago, uh -huh. and uh, I've done maybe eight IFR flights with like my group that I use, that I do with them, mm -hmm. and uh, I got a lot to learn. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay keep keep it good, keep it right, mm -hmm. get in good habits. And down between 13 and 220. Yeah, I always, I never really flew with that sim. I did a couple flights, and then uh, I just didn't get into it because I was busy talking on the radios for real, so it wasn't that exciting. Yeah. And so it's been, it's been a little while, but I recently got back into it. It's fun. I mean, I guess it's kind of like if, if you're a bartender. Uh, and you serve alcohol to people all day, it kind of loses its allure, is what I've heard from bartenders. Mm -hmm. um, or like if you if you serve food at like Outback Steakhouse, uh, then you no longer care for steak that much. That kind of thing. Just kind of wears on you. For me, I, I repair windows, doors, and siding all day. I don't want to come home and work on my own windows. I want to go home and sleep. <laughs> Thirty some miles away from Peckham now. So let's start the descent at by 25 just so we can get down and slowed and configured and everything you said by 25 so i can actually start it like probably right after this blo or bl nce yeah we can actually start it early it's not going to hurt anything we'll just be flying lower for a while um yeah yeah so go ahead your autopilot and you still have six thousand in there right yeah it's plugged in yeah Cool. So it's got the dot next to it right now. So if you pull that switch. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Oh, it doesn't have the dot, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> if you pull it, it'll initiate the descent. Push it in. Push it in? Yeah. Okay. That one. Oh, no. I know what I did wrong. So next to it, the up and down, the vertical speed, scroll that guy down. 1500. Wait, vertical speed. Yeah, the DS, the up and down knob right to the right hand side of that. Right here? Um, let's see. Twitch is trying to catch up. Uh, well, yeah, I, that, that, that one. would be a good idea on the approach to have him stream in Discord so there's not as much of a delay. Okay, let yeah. me see. Yeah, so switch that, into that there. Scroll down when you get there. I'm streaming on Discord now. Cool. I feel like it's moving. Yeah, my altitude's coming down. It's bringing me down. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's automatically doing that. Yeah. Go back to your cockpit, though. We can shallow that out. So that up-down, scroll it down to my negative 1,500. Because you're descending pretty quick right now. You said bring this down to what now? No, so 6,000 is good. To the right hand side of it where it says up and down. Yeah. Scroll that down to 1,500. Or up now. So it's negative. So negative 1,500. Oh man. <laughs> how fast yeah 1400 is close enough 16 good okay cool and now if you pull that guy so your 
you're shallowing out now because you were descending super fast, and now it's going to put you at 1500. And the way you can tell that um, is the right hand side of your altitude on your attitude indicator. Is that little green line that's pointing down that says 1 and 5 right next to it? That's your descent speed, how fast you're descending. And, uh, right here? Feet, yeah, in feet per minute there on the right hand side. 15 feet per minute. You should be able to see that here too, right here. Or 1,500 feet per minute. Yep. Yep. Cool. So this stuff is going to come quick. Um, if you go back to your cockpit. Let's see here. So zoom in to 20 on your range. 20 right here. Yeah. We're going to heck on. Should be. That, that happens so fast. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so your speed up there, scroll that all the way back down to 220. Speed. So where it has a dot next to it. Speed. Right here. We gotta, yeah. Remember we pull that out? Uh, not the altitude, the actual speed of the plane. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, up here, yeah. Remember when we pulled that out to get the number? Yep. Do that, and then scroll it to uh, actually 210 would be fine. 210. So get that dot off of there, so push it, I guess. Let me see, I gotta do it with a controller. <laughs> you see. push or pull, I forget. There you go. So get that to 210. Oh. Uh, so we're doing it on a controller. Yeah. So it'll start this right. thing slowing down. Okay. And then throw out your air brakes down by your throttle. Air brakes by the throttle. Da -da 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 -da. The, 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 the back left there. Right here? Speed brake? Yeah, throw those out to full. Cool. You can leave them there for now. Hey, Slid, I have a question. Yeah. Since you're Air Force, you might know this and I don't yet. What's the difference between a Cat 1 and Cat 2 and 3 ILS approach? Just the precision of them and how low you can fly them. So cat one is the least precise, and then cat three would be the, the more precise one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Spoiled by the 90s. <laughs> did did ass KO did ass knockout. I don't know. <laughs> you you can tell who's a uh, who's an Xbox user. Yeah. Yep. actually go ahead because we're going to keep descending and it's going to happen really quick here yeah. um, on the approach so um, let's figure out what our next altitude is going to be go ahead and put 2500 in that altitude display da, 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 da. that's right oh. 6000 change it to 2500 so if you click yeah Oh, and I have to change the increment, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So it'll bring you down to that altitude at 1,500 feet per minute. Do I have to pull this out again? Or? Uh, no, since you're... So if you would have leveled off, you would have to, like we did from 15,000. Yep, but, but, but since, since I did it, yeah. descending already. So if we leveled off at 6,000 and then decided to do that, yes, you would have to, but since you're... Just continuing a descent, then no. Yeah. Yep. We actually have something similar to that on the sub. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. So, if you go back to the map. So slow that speed down to like 150. We'll just do it real early here. Uh. Cool. 150 will work. And then down on your by your engine displays there in the middle. So I look to the right hand side where you see auto BRK for the auto brakes. Hit medium. That just means when you touch down, it'll start putting on the brakes for you. Okay. Cool. 
now we just gotta watch our speed um, as we descend, because we're gonna have to configure as we descend and put our flaps down and stuff. That'll happen quick. Go ahead and click one notch of flaps now. Man, I'm still nine miles to Hecker. Let's do a second notch of flaps here. We're coming in pretty quick, but... Oh, it skips. It skips that notch. It just goes straight to that. Oh. It'll yell at you, but it's fine. Let just me see. This. There you go. I could probably... Right, so basically, you can start looking outside and start flying this to landing. So the runway's right ahead of you. Go ahead and throw your gear out. Zoom out. And then go back and take those speed brakes off that we put on earlier. Da, 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 da. Right here? Nope. Um, so down by your throttle Down again. right there. Turn it all the way to... Um, what's that? Retired? Is that what this says? Um, so put in one more notch of flaps. One more notch. Okay. Okay. And then let's look at our speed here because I want to get you slowed down. Uh, it's over here. Speed. Okay, cool. Yeah, take those out. Take the down here? Take those all the way up, and then take your auto throttle off and start flying it by hand. Auto throttle and the, here. And the autopilot. And the autopilot. Here we go. Yep, and fly this thing down. Put in another notch of flaps. And stay above 145. 100. Between 140, yep, stay between 145 and 155. And then just land that guy. It keeps, like, dropping... Throttle, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta add it yourself. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. This is all manual now. Take it out. Why is it like it's so with a controller? It's either all the way max throttle or like the minimum oh, really? you can get. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Or there we go. I got I got halfway there. There's yeah, half. So you're, not on, you're not on autopilot now, so you gotta steer to the right, back to that runway. I'm gonna use the rudder. Yeah, I'd avoid the rudder. Just start using the roll. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> At this point, pick any runway. The one ahead of you. I'm gonna try to get the big one. Yeah. Let's see. What a trim, oh, I wouldn't say trim angle, but uh, what is that called? Slow down, slow down. Slow down, B. Yep. Your trim's pretty good now. Make sure you're descending. Keep the throttle out. Go. Uh, it's gonna be it's pretty rough it looks like uh, no worries Let's see. pretty good yeah so far I've crashed every time <laughs> I've tried to <laughs> land it so, yep, so oh, looks like I have to get more a, over to the right it's a good speed yeah, a little bit to the right start turning left now again there you go Good speed, keep that throttle out. <laughs> it's a little high and fast, but. I just cut the throttle. Yep. Pull up. <laughs> ah. There you go. <laughs> and then just and hold the brake. Yeah, and hold the brakes, get your reversers going. Sweet. My first flight without destroying it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now get off the runway, I'm coming in behind you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I am, so... Uh, I want to see you, see you land. I'm oh, wait. On Discord if you want to see. I don't see you. I wonder if I can load...
load you in by doing something real quick. Let me see. Let me let me break. You should be able to see my stream on Discord. At the stream? Let's see. If you don't have too many things going on. Yeah, let me change it over. Here we go. Is that the stream? Let's see, where is it at? Microsoft Flight 4. Okay. What are you using to keep your airspeed, like, uh, I would say, close to where you need it? I have a throttle quadrant in HOTAS. Okay. Yeah, I've got a stick and throttle quadrant. Which uh, aircraft is this? This is the Longitude. C-700. Um, General. I'm gonna try to join you guys. How do you turn on multiplayer again? Uh, you go to the top right, uh, click on flight. I think it's like settings or something like that. Wherever you can specify the weather, and then over to the left, it'll say like all all players or something like that. I would lag right when I get close. Oh, uh, okay. Line. Live. About use up the whole runway just to land. Jesus. Yeah, you got there like halfway. Alright. Yeah, I got my hands on the, the honeycomb set up. Pretty, pretty sick. Yeah. Heck yeah. I uh, pre ordered that for. <laughs> and was on a list for a couple months. Oh, it gives me like a like a direction to get off of the runway. <laughs> yeah, it's the taxi directive. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's part of the AI pilot assist thing. It can be turned off, or you can leave it on, doesn't matter. Oh, I love this, because like earlier when I was flying like the small planes, I had no idea what you are supposed to do when you land. Oh, yeah. I, I know you're like able to refuel and stuff like that, I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Yeah, there's... There's fuel here, but there's also... So you're playing on PC, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, okay. So there's also... Um, oh, what is it called? There's this program that you can get as an add-on. It's called Pushback uh, Assist or pu Pushback Extras. I, I can give you a link. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but it uh, gives you, like, pushback... Uh, assistance that gives you like you can connect ground power you can connect uh, a fuel truck without having to wait yeah you can automatically connect the jetway load baggage load catering stuff like that I saw that on the tablet um, yeah but this is just like as an add-on in the game how do you select what server am I uh, okay so you hit uh, well it depends on are you on the main menu or are you in the game I'm at the uh, main menu right now so in the top left where your name is, you click on that, and then you can click on the uh, oh. server. Are you guys east? Yeah, U.S. east. Josh, and uh, Ryan, sorry. Howdy who? What? 
Who's Josh? <laughs> who is this Josh you speak of? Yeah, I don't know who Josh is. That's totally not my name. Uh, I con I confused with Ryan. Sorry, <laughs> sir. It's it's okay. It actually is my name. No, it's oh, not shit! <laughs> it's not Josh. It's Posh. <laughs> it's right there on the screen. It, it is, but it's also my actual name is Josh. So. <laughs> oh shit, bro! I was talking to Fender. Holy it was fuck fucking fuck. weird. I was like, how the hell does this man know my name? <laughs> oh. I was talking to Fender, bro. Uh, <laughs> what are the uh, chances, bro? You know, see a fucking laser come through your window? <laughs> Dude, what's hey, this red dot on my chest? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, do you, see, uh, hey, do you see some white guy saying hi? Uh, Look, I'm waving. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at this. You, you can have the little thing lined up to the to the plane and all that. Yeah. Yeah. That is so Ex except, cool. Except apparently the way you parked, it doesn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a little apparently, off the line Apparently, I think you were you're a little too back. <laughs> well, now now I know how planes do this. So. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go grab a water, and then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be right back. Water? Uh, like Dream Mountain Dew, bro. Yeah, I stopped drinking soda. Nah, about three nah, months man, ago. nah, man. Drink water, good man. I, I stopped drinking soda about three months ago, and I lost twelve pounds. Oh shit! Yeah. Good for you, Yo, bro. good for you. <laughs> well, I mean, I stopped yeah. some other stuff too, but yeah. mainly soda. <laughs> what other type of stuff, bro? <laughs> uh, I mean. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't even mean to interrupt, but uh, Fender, for the love of God, please put your spoilers down and retract your flaps. <laughs> Spoilers? You're parked. <laughs> He's brand new at the game, it. man. It's, yeah, it's... Oh, okay, never mind then, never mind then. Here's, here's the thing. It's easier for inspections. No, no, no. Yeah, here, never mind here's, then. Here's what's impressive. He's brand new at the game, and he's flying the fly-by-wire A326. Uh, oh, what? Oh, my God. Uh, wait, wait, and he's not going into a bunch of trees like Air France? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Flaps up. Uh, Dude, oh, Fender. Oh, that's fucked up. Fender, trust me when I say this has been an achievement. You, you're, yeah. like, miles yeah, better than be. most people. Oh god, no, no, I actually didn't know that he was new, fuck. You go, been... sister. Yeah, no, he's brand new. Yeah. Oh, shit. You go, sister. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's great. You're doing great. For somebody who just picked it up, you're doing awesome. Let's see. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go grab that water. I'll be right back. Heck yeah. I... Hey, Fender, though, I gotta ask you for some help. How do I get... Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and guys, real, real quick. <laughs> Never mind. That's a that's a little that's kind of a little bit of fuel, buddy. R real quick for for my bros. Don't don't forget to hydrate. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I need some sweet water right now. I have vodka right here. Oh, you're Russian. No, I'm very much not. <laughs> uh. Damn, I got full. Full rows, guys. Hell yeah. Alright. Did you know? Oh my god, my man, my man's gonna have... My man is at, like, max... <laughs> was it, was he? Oh my god. My man is literally at max takeoff weight, full payload, full fuel, Holy everything. This guy's bro. gonna have a V1 speed of, like, 90 knots. 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. V1's gonna be, like, 90. How do you go... How do you go in reverse? Like, you just hold back or something? Uh, uh, do you I have a control? Uh, do you have, um, what kind of controls do you have? Just keyboard and mouse? I'm just, stick, yeah, I have, I have a keyboard and a controller. Okay, so, uh, if you hold, um, F2, it will retract. It pulls back. So, um, your keyboard, uh, throttle control is F2 and F3. So holding F2 moves the throttle back. F3 moves the throttle forward. Um, actually, but, if you kind of tap F3, or do something with your throttle to get back to flight idle. Oh. So it's there reverse. So if you see how there's, it's in reverse in the bottom left, right? Uh oh. This truck better move. It's about Wait, to be it, the end. No, it's 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 yeah, his fault, bro. It's his fault, bro. Like, huh? no, 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 don't just, tell him yeah. nothing. Uh, so yeah. Also, another thing too is uh, right, like, all well, that that now using like the reversers, um, to get away from the gate will get you back there. It's been outlawed since like the 80s. 
So um, you, I don't know if you see that little blue truck there. I have to follow the uh, the road. I, I see a road. I'm gonna follow it. Yeah. Oh no, it's telling me to go that way. Yeah. Okay. So there, there are scenarios where you can still reverse from yeah. the gate with props, but not with yeah. Oh, no, very like, much not Jay. Yeah. Generally, you get pushed back. Yeah. Um, but the McDonald yeah. Douglas, but the McDonald Douglas ML MD11 used to do that. It was so cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah, raping you know, my you know, throttles. Also, you know, it's also cool. Uh, uh, ramp the workers 11. getting sucked into engines. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was really cool to watch. Yeah. 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 That was cool, right? No, it was just a waste of way to make strawberry jam. Imagine, imagine having 20 knots like this speed limit. Come on, bro. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, uh, here, so Fender 2. I don't think, because you were watching that road, right? So you were kind of trying to follow that road. As a word of advice, so the road roads that you kind of see, those are mainly for the cars. And uh, the roads that planes will follow, right, is um, those yellow lines, actually. So you basically, you have your front wheel follow those uh, lines. It's telling me... And the ATC sometimes will tell you continue to Alpha Bravo Charlie or something. It's telling me to go back to the the place. I, I feel yeah, because like your uh, your flight's been completed, so it's like kind of willing to uh, shut down. Now you have to shut down. I feel like he he went from Jacksonville, Florida to Charlotte, North Carolina, and used his Sid and Star like one of the first times he flew the AT20. Well, I was I was just following what I was told to do the whole time. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not telling you what anyway, to do, I'm just kind of giving you a thing, like, just you, teaching you. You landed. Okay. Right. No, that's actually, that's great. Real question, I'm trying to get on the server with y'all. Does anybody see chicken lips flying right now? I saw you earlier, I think. I remember seeing chicken lips. <laughs> not gonna lie, I, I saw it when I was lips. flying. I do, do you I know do your asshole you. can spread up I'm to 8 inches wide before a whole raccoon? Yeah, I'm not chicken lips, I'm slug my balls. You're not chicken lips? I'm... I'm currently debating whether or not I put in the effort to actually set up my controllers. I, and I can't see you guys. Are you guys at the terminal at Charlotte? Uh, I'm parked in like GA parking. Oh. Because I'm a citation. Mm -hmm. I don't see you. Uh, I'm AOD, that Navy guy. Yeah, I see chicken lips and everything, but none of y'all. Chicken lips is not on the ground. Yeah, he's flying, but I'm in the server with him, so I can see him, you know, and like... What, what's your name? Uh, Slug my balls. <laughs> I see you. I see you. You're on the other side of the, the airport for me. Oh. Sure. So That's so look, sad that Steve look, Jobs died of slug. If you look directly 90 degrees perpendicular to the runway, straight across from you, yeah. I am you know that I'm you sitting next, like, over there. Oh. Here, I'm not on that sim. I will undo my parking brake and I'll just come over there to you. I'll just drive straight across the grass and the runways. Yeah, I was about to do panel. that. I just have to set my panel state here. Just yeah. fire wall of throttles. Bro, now, I would recommend you this route, um, right. Oh, does the flyby wear have panel states? Right, no. I would recommend you doing it. Where you can just, like, go there, there. set it up ready for takeoff. Go, or? Go, go there. Hey, what's up? Such a cool route. You can go, you're going know. through the Bahamas. Huh. What is the airport? Really start the thing up. Okay. Uh, for though, there though, uh, I think it's Kilo, Foxtrot, Lima, Lima. Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale, yes. And just do, just sim brief. Just sim brief. I'm like, trying to think to myself, is there any situation in the world in which what I'm doing won't get me in trouble? And I, no. I, I can't think of anything. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, your throttle is stuck wide open, um, and your brakes have failed. <laughs> hey, there a, we go. And a terrorist <laughs> has a bomb up his ass, so that's an indication. Yeah, that's what it what is. What is with you and things going up people's ass? Like, this is the third time you've mentioned it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's happened. It judging? has happened. I'm not judging, I'm <laughs> curious. Bro, you have... <laughs> I just want I know, know you like smelly feet, bro, so don't talk to me. Okay, like, you I'm like parked over right where you were, but I don't see you anymore. You disappeared from me. Hey, do you remember? Hey, Ryan, do you remember how to do um, Simbrief, right? 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can figure it out uh, using what I remember. Uh, I'm punching in these airports into there, and then I'm going to try to punch in that in that little computer I was getting shown earlier. Okay, so I would, guide you, I would guide you again. So put new flight and put Kilo, Kilo, Kilo Foxtrot, Lima, Lima, and Sierra, Kilo, Bravo, Oscar. So apparently they think there's a... There's a runway on, on the base that I'm at, so I'm going to see what this is supposed to be. There is no airport here, but for some reason, for some, for some reason, it's saying there is one. Oh, so when it's when it's like that, the 4J6, it's like a helipad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's not an airport then? No. <laughs> Let's see. Challenge. I'm, I mean, if you have... To be fair, if there's a headwind at the destination equal to or greater than your stall speed, you can land the plane on the helipad. <laughs> Let's see. Speaking Let's... of which, who wants to do some landing challenges? Dude, I'll do hey, some with you. Hey, hey, Ryan. I have a I really good one. Screen. How, how do we do that? On Discord. How do we do what? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna pick yeah, uh, an challenges. airport. Let's see. Let's do... Let's do Atlanta. I have a really good landing challenge. Do an international flight, bro. I'm in. <laughs> Well, I am game. What's the challenge? Wait, what? Do an international? Uh, yeah. Uh, like stole the one on my <laughs> So the the challenge, mm. type in uh, when you go into your main menu, type in H E A J as your arrival. I think that's Africa. Okay. And just spawn midair on the arrival and try to land runway one six. Columbia's now, down there, bro. Columbia's the down there. The only thing that I will say yeah. is you need to spawn in with the. Aircraft that you think would be Mexico most right impressive. Now. Oh god. Most impressive to land on 700 feet. I know this is hard for you. Oh, uh, I see so, it. I know this is hard, Ryan, right? but go. I don't fly anything but airliners, and this is a helipad. Wait, you said go you said go one. where? Two. Go to like that little thing on two. On what is that two. Anyway? What, on what the you where you when you put your first aircraft. Right here. And <clears throat> because when they're the in the city X, like that, and they're like. Press on the little when it's X. That shape in that dimension. The X. Where's the X? Yes, right there. Normally they're like large runways made for. I think Where I've seen this online. M, Mike, 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 Sulu. Right. X-ray, sorry. What would so be impressive? Press on the land little there. X and then yeah, type S K D O. I don't know. Let me. Like, what are we talking? Are we talking like? Here, let me do some math. math. It or might be possible. Here, here. Here, let me do some math. It might be possible if you make it completely empty and like minimum fuel right. possible, right. like almost no fuel might be possible to fit a 70 in there. Ryan, do you remember how you put your destination aircraft? Um, sorry, airport. Yeah. I have seen. Now go somebody... go there and press on what it says Benito Juarez International Mexico City. Let's see, I have seen somebody land a. What? We can all hear you. And mute. I'm, I'm gonna do the same. Oh yeah, I'm gonna normal, like, I normally feel bad. I live in Texas. Nope. He doesn't think I understand half of that. Oh, you live in Texas. <laughs> Alright, he's muted. Wait, I, I would have never thought you're in Texas. Yeah, me, me, <laughs> yeah. me neither. The name didn't give it away. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I never. I, I uh, yeah, the, the best one I've seen there is TBM nine so like, Okay, but I don't I know. I spawn mid air. Uh, you just mark it as your destination airport. Hit runway oh. one six, and then don't put, don't set an arrival. Oh. Or, uh, a a uh, uh, departure. All right. Hey, Have you ever? And then what I would is... choose I would choose custom weather because right now apparently it's a thunderstorm. Wait, oh. are, are w am I allowed to set the weather to whatever I want? Okay, man. Okay, yeah. right. Well, well, no, no, no. Just clear no. skies. Clear skies. Okay. Okay. I was about to say, I'm like, I will land a 747 there right now if I'm allowed to set the wind to whatever I want. <laughs> Clear skies midday. So. Alright. Um, that almost went south. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Here we go. Well, I, are you, are you going to spawn there as well? Uh, so, for clarification, the only person I've ever seen land the TBM9 here hmm? was yeah. somebody who bounced it off the beginning of the runway. What's up? Went like straight up and then landed back down and just didn't move, but he landed on his wheels and he. So, you said TBM 930 was the most impressive you've seen up here? Yeah, but I mean, he it was impressive because he did it in a pretty cheaty way. Yeah. Uh, or would he uh, hang air through the VI be pilot? more impressive? I don't know, do you think you can land it in 700 feet? Um, so Possibly, I, just, I don't know. I just need to know what I'm trying. So I spawned with the TBM, and my displays immediately went black. Player, all players. Oh, good hey luck. Ryan, <laughs> what the did hell? Already, what, did you already generate your flight? I mean, I'll still be able to fly. It's so like landing. I'm just gonna bounce off the stall speed. Uh, 